The Tri-10 series of deburring systems is highly versatile and can be readily adapted to specific application and configuration requirements. This model, for example, was designed to be compact, portable, and cost-effective. To meet these requirements, we designed this system to make the best use of our planetary head. We can deburb both sides of a part with a single planetary head using this return to operator design. To see how the Tri-10 U-Flow or return to operator system works, let's follow a part through the process. This system is designed for a specific powder metal part that has not yet been sintered or hardened. The part has three half-inch protrusions on one side. After the part is placed on a magnetic conveyor, it first passes through a long trim abrasive filament brush. This Abtex brush extends around the protrusion to deburr the valley areas of the part. It then passes through an offset planetary head where three 10-inch abrasive filament brushes deburr the top surfaces of the three protrusions or posts. From there, the conveyor carries the part to a flip station that turns it over and places it onto a parallel magnetic conveyor. This conveyor transports the part back through the planetary head to deburr the other side of the part. Finally, two air blow-offs clean both sides of the part before it exits the machine. Dust is captured by an onboard collection system. Here's what the long trim brush looks like. We can customize a brush for a specific part. Because our unique manufacturing process is capable of producing unlimited brush designs, ensuring that your deburring operation will be effective and cost efficient. This is a part about to begin its trip through the Tri-10 U-Flow system. The arrows show the burred surfaces. This part has been deburred and the arrows are in exactly the same positions. Notice that the extra material from the forming process has been removed. Critical areas no longer have sharp edges. Effectiveness and efficiency are hallmarks of Abtex deburring systems. Only Abtex can produce an application-specific brush and then design and build a system to maximize the brush's performance.